Yeah, Tom, the I irony here is that just about everyone you talk to out of Washington agrees that immigration reform has to be a top priority in Congress. Both Republican Kelly Ayotte and Democrat Gene Shaheen voted in favor of a package that already passed the Senate. But if the ball is now in House Speaker John Boehner's court, it seems like we might be off to a rough start already. We will not stand idle as the president undermines the rule of law in our country. Whether it's defunding the president's initiatives or straight out legal action, Republican leaders making no secret of their plans to block the executive order on immigration. But members of New Hampshire's delegation see it as a fuse to spark debate on the immigration reform package already passed by the current Senate. We still have another month before the end of this session. I think that the House should take up that bill. There, by all indications, the votes are there if the Speaker would take it up. Have the hearings, have the debate. I think that's what the American people want. And it's been, as I say, over 500 days. Let's have that conversation. Senator Kelly Ayotte agrees with the concept of immigration reform, but not the unilateral action taken by the president. Incoming Congressman elect Frank Ginta agrees and questions whether the president overstepped his executive powers. I cannot find where he feels that he has this authority, number one. Number two, he has said for the last six years that he does not have this authority. Um, so I'm not sure what has changed. To that end, Senator Gene Shaheen points to past presidents who have issued similar orders related to immigration. Um, Ronald Reagan did it. Um, Bill Clinton did it. So I, I think there is precedent for this. Even so, some believe this is an executive order which could lead to a major constitutional battle possibly landing in the U.S. Supreme Court. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.